Thanks. And Lulu will be available with the bus cuff to a stop when we return. So we'll have a chance to talk with the board then as well. Great. your flyer there's there's a large rectangular looks like it's salmon colored piece of property that's that's going off into the bay to the to the right side but the largest thing you see here and the, the most obvious thing is a 450 ton gantry crane and this was originally used to remove gun turrets and large object objects from ships this is the world's largest overhead traveling crane. What they mean by traveling crane, they mean that after you pick something up, the train, the crane, excuse me, largest overhead traveling crane. The crane can move on rails. It can move whatever it picks up on rails across to the other side. Uh, what year was it? Sorry. <laughs> what, what year? I'll have to figure that one out and I'll, I'll let you know later. The, this is called the gun mole pier because this pier, unlike most piers, they, they, they call them, it's a mole pier. And a mole pier is created out of uh, rocks and sand. Unlike most peel, piers that are uh, constructed on top of pilings. So it's a mole pier and because they used to service guns, they call this the gun mole pier. Any questions? I have a dumb question. Is that large steel structure we're looking at, the please, gantry? Raise your hand, give me a chance to get to you. All right, thank you. All right, yep. sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Okay, dumb question, because I can't see very much. Is that gray structure in front of us the gantry? Yes, yes, that is the gantry crane. Yes. Okay. And thank it was constructed in 1947. Okay, cranes usually pull things up and let them down. I don't see anything on there that looks in my brain like anything that would lift something up and drop it down. Yeah, this, this may just be the, sup the superstructure for the crane and the actual lifting mechanism has been removed. I, I, don't, I don't see it either. Okay, thanks. We're Excellent. sitting on some nice shiny new pavement here. Is this a durable cover or is just just put here for convenience sake for some kind of work that's going on? Excellent question and very timely. This this is a durable cover we're on top. And uh, I'll be talking, the, the next stop is uh, going to focus on kind of this, this area we're driving on right now, as well as the durable cover. So 